Alright, hello everyone, my name is Denzel Dan and welcome back to European Universalis 4. We are back with our Japan game in the Cossacks expansion. Just because it wasn't finished yet. We still have uh, about 50 years to go here. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be very interesting. I think this is gonna be a, a long end stretch and see what we can uh, squeeze out of this game before it ends. Um, yeah, so I had to roll back the, uh, the game version to 1.15 in order to uh, be able to... Uh, Record again with Japan um, was uh, relatively hassle-free. I think it was a process of about two to five minutes, so no worries there. But I think I am gonna bulk record uh, a few episodes after each other here. So um, if you have any comments, I might not be able to respond to them anymore or not yet. It depends on uh, how many episodes I will be recording now. Um, so yeah, because uh, otherwise I would have to be uh, rolling back and forth between the, uh, the versions of the game and uh, that's not really ideal, so uh, I'm not gonna do that. Um, because it's not necessary if I bulk record, so there we go. Um, so yeah, lo really looking forward to actually finishing this game. Um, I'm not even sure if I've ever finished a uh, European Rosales game, I have to be honest with you. Um, I don't know, probably sometime. Hmm, interesting. But we are going to finish it now. I think um, we're uh, at least very well on our way to do so. Um, right, so we will have to decide where we spend our time, our last minutes in this world. Um, and I think we are going to uh, go to war with Ming again, at least to pick up these provinces here. And we are sort of going to, to throw caution into the wind, I think, as you say. Uh, because aggressive expansion really isn't a problem for us anymore, probably. Um, aside from some modifiers, that is. We don't have to be afraid of any country. Perhaps we could even attack Korea. Um, they're only allied with us, so... Perhaps we should do that first. Hmm. Let's at least... Do we have any rebels coming up? Yes, we do. We've got the Arkani rebe rebels. Arakani, I mean. In Mulmain. I have no idea where that is. Oh, probably, um... No. Okay, we'll search for it then. Moor. Did I not read that correctly? Mul. Mul. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Mul mine, there we go. Oh, it's down here. Oh, that's actually uh, pretty annoying, but we do have a lot of troops here, so... We'll probably just go ahead and let these guys handle that, and then uh, that's gonna be fine. And then we can focus up north on, I think, Korea. I think Korea would be... I know in the last episode we said that we didn't want to attack them, but dissolve the alliance will probably be uh, fine. We'll just uh, move in there and uh, be ready to attack them. I think it's gonna be fine. I know they've been a long time ally, but I mean, at some point it was always gonna be us or them. Uh, well, basically, it's always been us, but, you know, we really want to get them out of the way. Um, any quest, uh, quests that we might want to pick up? Not really. Okay, so let's um, let them, uh, my troops, get there. Ming is being utterly destroyed, as you say. Uh, cast better against Pasai. Pasai would have been a good target as well, but... Oh, we've got some estates who want territories. That's sort of fine. Uh, I forgot which one it was, though. Clergy and nobility, okay. Clergy. Nobility. Not enough. Nobility wants more, okay. Well, you can have it. It feels kind of weird to be playing the Cossacks again. I don't know, it's, uh, the expansion came along so quickly. Military access from the Netherlands? Yeah, sure. Netherlands looks actually uh, pretty nice. Um, Aragon is very impressive. Castile is just completely gone, I think. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> and they are a vassal of Brazil. That is just that's just weird and strange. So the colony has colonized the colonizer. Bam. I don't know. That's just weird. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, it's kind of weird to be uh, to be back in the Cossack expansion. It, it was so... The Cossack expansion... Uh, no, the Mare Nostrum expansion was uh, released so quickly after the uh, Cossack expansion. 
I think it was uh, about half a year. Very interesting. But it's fine with me. I, uh, I always like it when I get some new stuff to play with. So uh, there we go. Uh, right, so uh, actually, I will uh, put down a link down below f to the uh, actual Mounted Nostrum expansion. If you haven't seen it, um, uh, I've got about, I think, four episodes up right now. So we've made a, a good start there. So if you're interested in the new expansion at all, then I would uh, like to invite you to uh, go and watch, uh, go ahead and watch it. It's going to be uh, uh, a good series, I think. We are playing as Genoa. Uh, probably focusing a bit more on the... Um, on the economic side of things, uh, as uh, the expansion is uh, focused on, actually, we should have dissolved the alliance before, because now we are in a truce until s for five years. That's actually not too bad. I think we will declare on Ming in that case, uh, right? Because the Mare Nostrum expansion is, of course, focused on uh, trade and naval stuff. So, um, yeah, very interesting. Um, I think we'll use this stack to do some... Are they allied? They are allied with Lang Prabang. That's sort of annoying. But actually not that big of a problem. Yeah, so let's declare on Ming. Or are we... No, we aren't. Okay, Imperialism. Declare war. There we go. Okay, so this is... Um... There we go. Final stretch here. Korea isn't gonna like us. Um, Dutch, Dutch Louisiana. Dutch? That's just weird. Uh, Ryukyu Islands battle one. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, this is a, uh, quite a, an impressive Ming stack. I think we will get a new leader here. Conquistador. Ah, pretty, pretty nice. We'll use that to uh, probably go and stomp on them. And then we'll um, do some sieging, I think. You, well, perhaps we'll focus on this first. Are there any forts here at all? Japan occupied Kuru. Well, that was easy. There we go, let's move in. Um, that was easy as well. Oh, this is a uh, an actual fort, okay. This isn't. What did we win there? Oh, pause, pause, pause. Oh, we actually stomped them already. Well, that was easy. Okay, and uh, Lang Prabang, I don't know, I don't think it's going to be a threat for us. Uh, we will have to keep an eye on them, and I th think... Well, we move them together. It's going to be fine. Um, I think we'll just go ahead and seed some stuff here. Korea is being uh, overrun here by rebels, although they have reinforced in time. We've gained the core province, Irkutsk. Lanbo is ours. And we will merge you all up. That's gonna be fine. Yeah, do you have a leader? I don't think you do. No. Oh, well, well, it's fine. Doesn't really matter. So Ming is uh, desperately trying to muster up some troops here. That's not really going to help them, I think. Okay, we'll start from above and we'll work our way down. And then we declare war upon Ming. Yeah, so everyone's taking advantage as they have been for, uh, I think, the last 50 years or so. Uh, yeah, let's detach his seeds. Um, great advisor has died. National tax modifier could be very useful for us. We are losing so much money, though. It's, it's amazing. Let's reduce inflation to help out a bit. Uh, we've got California with a liberty desire of 57. Let's do something with that. Let's decrease the tariffs and decrease them again. I want it to get it below 47. Will cost us quite some money though, but that's fine. Really don't want to have to deal with um, um, rebels, Californian rebels. Wanting to break free of our great nation. Uh, we'll move you over there. Do some sieging yourself. Do it yourself. Okay, this is going to be all right here. Whoops. Okay, that was easy. On to the next one. Lang Prabang is coming in to help. Or is this... Yeah, this is actually uh, their ally. 
I think might be oh Ming went bankrupt again. Uh, might, might be a good time to just jump in here and uh, see if we can get to them. There are some fish. Uh, better leave it be. Occupied wooding. Battle of Bowding. Yorkland, yes, you can move into me into my country, I mean. Battles going on here, Battle of Beijing. Yeah, we're basically just sweeping everyone up, swooping them up. Cast Belly, Pasai. Okay, the core and Ude. Very nice. Uh, yeah, we can invest in an idea, but yeah. I don't know, I, it's not gonna make all that much difference, I think, at this uh, stage in the game. Quite some troops here. Okay. That's still the problem with um, trying to siege Ming. They just have so much stuff. Internal conflicts in Korea and in Champa. It's very interesting to see. Um, I think we'll move in there. Stack wipe some stuff again. Let's take a look at the south here. Nothing happening there, okay. Okay, we'll seize this. Work on that. And I think... No, that siege is still going on. This one is as well. Okay, so now we wait. Yes. Yes. Cause of belly imperialism against Lithuania. I didn't have any plans to go there, to be very honest with you. But it's good to know. Commonwealth, I, I think it actually was. Was it? Pomerania, though. Jeez. And Austria as well. So very impressive. Oh, oh, oh. That was my mouse doing weird stuff. There's a... Um... Let me just... Yeah. A cat's hair in the sensor. That's gonna screw up the mouse very badly. Okay. Let's just keep it going here. Uh, four years to go until we can attack Korea, which I think will be uh, a very good move for us. Basically, they are much more powerful than Ming at this point, even though Ming is much larger. Okay, we are occupying quite some stuff here. But I fear that these uh, occupations might just... Um, Disintegrate if there is a fort nearby. I think there should be auto re uh, reconquering going on in that case. Um, but it might be this fort. I don't know. Okay, still going on. We should probably just get to the capital as well, Yangzhou, again. Uh, we will probably focus on that. Oh yeah, they took something back here. Pretty annoying. I think? No, you were going there as well. Um, okay, just try and sweep up some stuff. Okay, very nice. And there as well. Can you get a leader? No, you can't, apparently. Of course, we are in uh, enemy territory, so that explains a bit. But, of course, these stacks by Ming, they have no morale, no nothing, so it's, it's very easy to take them down. This will be another interception. Interception! Okay, this is a Senwi, so uh, nothing to fear from them. They aren't in this war, so that's good. Okay, our sieges are almost done at all fronts. Okay, this one is done. I think you will go to Yang Jiangsu. And uh, complete the siege there. I at least want to pick up these provinces here, because this is just ugly. The Ming color right in the midst of our country. That's, that's uh, not, not, uh, something we can't... Uh, can't allow, of course. So this is good. Uh, we've got those rebels, though. Ming noble rebels. Quite a hefty stack of about 50. So we really have to keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, go down. I'm not sure where those rebels will be going, so... Battle of Ordos. That that province name always makes me makes me think of uh, June, the game, the strategy game by Westwood. Um, but actually, of course, it should make you think about the uh, the book. I think June, <laughs> by what's his name, Frank Herbert, I believe. Yes, uh, peace offer from Ming. Yeah, 
war operations. No thank you. Ming occupied some stuff. Ming occupied Jiangsu. Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's not actually the capital. I was confused for a bit there. Because it's Yangzhou and Yanzhou? I don't know. Okay, we reoccupied that. Uh, we will move in there and then... Probably detach a siege. It's really annoying, though, that all those provinces that you just pick up are uh, immediately won back by Ming if you don't have the surrounding fort as well. So that's um, a good thing to keep in mind here. I think you can go down there. Um... Fort level none. This is a fort. I think we'll take that. Just to uh, be on the safe side. And uh, actually we all already almost have the capital there. Uh, this one is done as well. So we'll move you in the country. And in the meantime, I think we're... Uh, yeah, we're only about three... Ooh, what's happening there? Oh, oh battle. Okay. Only about three years away from attacking uh, Korea. Okay, we recaptured that. This is very good. Probably just try and sweep up some of those dudes here. Occupied Honhot. Yes. Okay, we can actually uh, do some military... No, we can't. We are way ahead of time here. And we still can't get to a new idea group here. So there's no way for us to sink those uh, points rather than... Uh, other than... Um, Using them on province development, which I think we'll just do. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to waste points. So there we go. Just some uh, increase. Occupies Kara Nodin something. There go. Just moving in here, seizing some stuff. Um, Actually, seemingly impossible for them to take this back. Another peace offer, which we won't... Oh, 91? Jeez. Okay, so there we go. That's the uh, the capital one. Um, 37 war score. Pretty impressive in uh, quite a short time frame. Let's see what we can do here. We still have some overextension. No, we are not coring anything, so that is all good. Um, I don't know. Perhaps along the coast? We could actually almost take the capital. That would be very interesting. We can take the capital. I think that is a good idea. Um, can we do something? No, that's going to be too difficult here. I don't really know. There's not really a point in... Uh, well, the capital, I think, is, is very important to Yangzhou, just because of the uh, power that that province holds. Uh, but other than that... Whoa! 813 to make all Cedar Provinces scores. That's uh, pretty hefty. It's uh, quite, quite a lot of money there, I mean. Current peace offer, length of war is still a uh, thing here. Should we just um, let it run for a bit and see uh, if we can take over some more stuff? Alaska has cancelled military exercise. That's sort of fine. Uh, you will probably jump in there to help out for a bit. Yeah, we lost that battle, actually. But I think we almost won it because of the uh, morale. Okay, so we've got some dudes coming in here. But we got our main stack coming in as well. Which will definitely help. So some sieging going on. Japan occupied some stuff. Very good. It's basically just a length of war. Oh, we are actually losing this fight. What's... That's... Annoying. I guess we'll move out. I hadn't expected that. I thought the morale bar it was so low, so I thought, well, we should be able to win this easily. Renewed alone. That's somewhat annoying. Yeah, so that was a, a bit of a mistake. Ming occupied something. Okay, so we can move you out and move you in there. 
Won't be on time though. We'll just follow them. It should be on time, yes. Much up by heat, except it's peace, white peace with uh, French Columbia. I know we don't have a leader in this uh, stack. Um, let's just get one. Bam. It's quite a large stack, so it makes sense, I think, to uh, give it a leader at least. Very good. Uh, seems to be doing fine here, I think. You move in there. You move in there. Uh, you can, I don't know, move in there. Oh, there's the noble uh, stack, though. I don't really want to get close to that. Let's move in there instead. Uh, no, we won't accept this peace offer. Thank you very much. Truce expired with um, Vijayanagar. Okay. Not really going to do anything with that. Look at Ning and Yue, by the way. I think Ning started out with about two or three provinces. Look at them now. Very powerful. And, of course, the difference with Ming is that their country is based on uh, actual solid so, uh, solid construction. A solid foundation, rather. Uh, as opposed to Ming, Ming which, is, which is just falling apart. Let's uh, do some extra stuff there. There's a battle there. Which we have won already. Another fort there. Okay, very good. We'll just keep going with the sieging and uh, see what that brings us in the peace deal. There you go. This is interesting, by the way. We could actually cut off the, uh, the Ming country. I've got an advisor who died. Oh, and we've got Diplo Power actually filled up. Okay. Um, I hope that wasn't there for too long, actually. Uh, we'll just get the Diplo Tech here. And probably another one. There you go. Some ship upgrades that we can do, but I'm, I'm not sure if it's uh, necessary anymore. Move in there. That will be swooped up as well. Yeah, we can. We could if we take this province. Um, or perhaps these. One, two. Yeah, this works. One, two, three. Then we actually break the country. Uh, there's no way for Ming to reach this bit from this bit. So that's going to be pretty amazing. Uh, okay. Of course, we can always. Uh, we could also just go. Yeah, this is connected. So we could go like so. And then to down here and perhaps the capital on the other end. Mali accepts the peace with Machu Pahit. Machu Pahit will be forced to give Mali 10% of their income. So Mali is, is very, very powerful. And it is, as you can see. Russia is actually uh, doing alright now. Are they expanding here? Yes, they are. A bit late, but oh well. Portuguese Indonesia down there. Very impressive as well. But look at our sieging, though. I, I admit this isn't a simple war, an easy war, but eh. It's, it's still very good to see all that uh, red painted stuff. Okay, very good. Uh, I don't think we need to go down south any further. Uh, it's not really necessary. Oh, whoops. Thought that was uh, another peace offer, but it was another a request for military for military access. Oh well, it's fine, it's fine, you guys, no worries. So we can start the uh, Korea War in two years if we uh, would want that. I think we might. We want to wait for this siege to end. Can't move. Bit of a shame. Uh, you move in. Okay, that is finished. I think uh, Ming is just completely gone right now when it comes to their troops. That is a peace offer, which we won't accept. 
Um, yeah, we uh, could take another advisor. But we don't have a lot of money, and we are losing money quite badly. We don't have any mercenaries or something, right? No. It's really quite annoying that we aren't making uh, a lot of money. I think it's just because we didn't invest in our economy all that much. Revolt! Ignore them. Local unrest plus 10, or... Local unrest minus 5, but gain 20 local... Yeah, let's just do that. And ceiling goal, that's fine. Uh, Ming occupied Ogza. Oh, well, that's annoying. They have a stack moving here. You go stomp him. Oh, 91%. Our PC is, uh, is uh, having to uh, uh, having to work quite hard to cope with the uh, four speed and a lot of stuff happening all over the place. Right, Siege of Nanjing is over. 60% war score. I think we can um, make a nice offer here. Uh, let's clear the offer. I, mean, I want to see what we had. First off, we want to take this, of course. And we really want to break the country in two. Does this connect up? I don't know. Not even sure if it's necessary. We could just go down like so. And then to the capital. Yes, I think that's better. And then all their money. I think we could use that. Uh, war operations I don't think is necessary. Uh, just because uh, they don't have a lot of income. So I don't think that's uh, very useful. Um, could make them release some stuff just to... Uh, Screw with them a bit, basically. Jing is too large. Hawaii. Chu. Let's see if there's anything of interest here. Xi. I like that. Xi seems uh, pretty impressive. Just uh, fragmenting the uh, the uh, the continent, basically. See if there's anything else we can get. This one, perhaps. That makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's it, I think. Whoa, 104% overextension. 55% uh, 55 aggressive expansion. That's not really a problem. Oh, the overextension though, that's that's uh I think that's a bit too much. 96% is already uh, pretty hefty. And we don't have enough at Mintech by a long shot to be able to core all this. Um can we get rid of one of those provinces? to make things a little bit easier on ourselves. I really like the idea of breaking the country in two, though. But it's going to be very difficult. Of course, Jiangsu is, uh, is the most expensive thing here because it's their capital. Uh, perhaps you should just stick with this and then not take the capital, unfortunately. Perhaps do something like this and then actually release some kind of country here. Or multiple countries. Jing could be good. Would that break the country? No. Almost. Oh, we are still, of course, dividing the country because of this. Um, yeah, so that's, that's important. This is important to us. The money is important to us because we are low on funds. Um, so I think we'll just use the rest to uh, break some extra stuff here from Ming. Oh. Right. Okay, so this will be fine. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, there will be another war anyway, so... Uh, yes. It's good enough. Bam. Okay, Ming will see it. Huan, Aigun, Hayilba, Birya, Kuria, Kuru. Yanzu, Duning, Shangqi, and Mergen to Japan. Ming will release Chu and Jin as sovereign state and pay a lot of ducats. Very nice. Look at the fragmentation as well. And look at this! Japanese Manchuria! Oh, very, very nice, I think. Uh, of course, we have too many uh, leaders here. Um, and we've got a lot of cores to make, uh, which I, I think we'll just start with the small ones. Just to get ourselves down from the overextension as quickly as possible. 
And that's about it for now. Um, okay, so we are 65% overextended. Pretty hefty. Uh, but we do have stability level 2, so that's fine. Uh, Conquer Korea, yes, I think we'll take that. Although, um, I'm not sure if we can conquer the entirety of Korea. Probably not. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, do that. Let's uh, go to Brazil, suck up to them. Uh, improve relations, bam. They are very powerful now. They are uh, actually at level 27 for everything. And... Yeah. And Western, of course. So that's probably one of the more powerful countries in the world currently. And they like us, so that's very good. Uh, let's see. Right, I want to kick the, the military leader. Whoops. Um, no leader. I think that's the one we want to kick. Yes. Bye. Okay. We don't have money, but I think we'll still... Well, fort defense isn't really helpful. We are really, really lacking, lagging behind in the admin tech, though. And we've got troops in foreign countries, so let's move them out. Uh, might be some other stuff there. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that should probably do it for this war. And also for this episode, actually. Um, wait, before I forget, repay all loans. Bam. And we're down at 146 again. So, uh, very impressive, I think, the uh, the amount of land that we now have. But I think in the next episode we will need to uh, uh, probably wait a bit until doing something else. We can start a war with Korea in two years, but eh. We first need to get rid of that overextension, though. Can we actually focus on... We will focus on admin tech. That's important. Right. Uh, thank you for watching this episode. Uh, be sure to check out the uh, Mari Nostrum uh, playthrough, as I, um, as I said before. Uh, I'm sure you will like it, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you there. Uh, feel free to leave any comments here or there, and I'll be sure to read them. Right? Thank you. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.